If you've been watching this channel for a while, this video might seem a little weird. Harris, you've always been avidly against multi-streaming. What's changed? Well, honestly, nothing. The secret is, I never hated multi-streaming. People just wanted to use it for a reason where it wasn't effective. And you know what, how about this? At the end of this video, I will get into exactly my stance on multi-streaming, where it works and where it doesn't, what changed and why I'm encouraging it now. But in the meantime, let's make this a pretty quick walkthrough of all the different ways to multi-stream. Cause I'm sick. I wanna run this thing through my body and be done with it. I wanna spend the rest of the day sitting on the couch playing Zelda. Let's talk about easy ways to multi-stream, how you should multi-stream depending on the power of your PC. Also, maybe you want extra customization. Do you want to stream horizontally to these sites and vertically to these sites at the same time? Let's get into all of that. Hey, before we get too far into this, I wanna talk with you about getting 50% off of entire overlay packages from the sponsor of today's video, Owns.TV. I mean, by this point, you guys know that Owns.TV is your one-stop shop for all your stream overlay and alert needs, but do you know how wide that spectrum covers? I just spent the last couple minutes re-educating myself on the stuff that they have in their store, and they go from super modern and clean designs, like this Iridos one that I'm a huge fan of, all the way to these kawaii cats, which honestly, the alerts are actually fantastic. This library has gotten so big that there will be something that you like in there. So go check it out. And if you use the link down below, you get 50% off or just use code it's code senpai at checkout. I actually just got distracted checking out all the ones in the brush category here. Check out this one, <laughs> Upex. It's good. We all know what Upex is. Anyway, check out the link below. Back to the video. So let's jump into multi-streaming or multicasting or simul, 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 simulcasting, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing. You're streaming to multiple places at once. There are three main methods to do this. And then you got some gray area in between. But for the most part, this gives you the three things that you need to take a look at and decide which one works the best for you. Let's start with the easiest where you just set up one stream and click a go live and it goes everywhere. And then we'll go with the more complicated one at the end where let's say you want to do horizontal and vertical at the same time, you can do that pretty easily actually. Now method number one is using an online service like Restream.io. There are a handful of services. They all work similarly. Maybe they have different prices, maybe a couple different features, but for the most part, how it works is you set up a stream in OBS and instead of then sending that stream to your platform, to Twitch or to YouTube, you send it to Restream and then Restream sends it everywhere else. This is great for streamers with lower end PCs that aren't able to encode multiple instances at the same time, or maybe low internet speeds that aren't able to send it to the different platforms themselves. This is also a great simple solution for people that don't wanna figure out how to do everything else and install plugins. Take a look in the OBS settings. If you go to the stream tab and take a look at services, normally it's YouTube or Twitch, you can actually see one for restream.io. They're integrated directly into OBS. So you just sign in there with your restream account, you're good, you can stream wherever you want. Now the free version of Restream is limited to two different platforms and you're not gonna have a lot of customization options because you're basically sending one stream everywhere. So you have to think about things like alerts and chat and everything. It's going to be simple, but maybe simple is what you want. Also, maybe you only want two platforms. This is a great option. But let's jump to method number two, where maybe it opens up some doors a little bit, you have a little bit more flexibility and it's also free. There's an OBS plugin called OBS Multi-RTMP that allows you to take your stream, again, a singular stream, and send it as many places as you want. Where it's different from Restream is this is all happening on your computer. It is a plugin that you install into OBS that I will link to down below. It's going to add a dock to OBS that allows you to sign in to your platform accounts like Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. And then when you hit go live, which will send your stream to your mainstream, you also hit the go live buttons on that plugin and send it wherever you want. Now this is great because you're no longer limited to two different locations. So if you want to go to three or more, you're good. It's completely free and you don't have to have a restream watermark on your stream like you had to with the free version of restream, at least at the time of making this video. Where it's not so good is now you start utilizing a little bit more of your resources. You have a lot of customization options here. On each platform, you can change the bit rate, the resolution. You can stream on 4K to YouTube and 1080p to Twitch if you really want to. But just know that every platform that has a different stream setting is gonna require another instance of encoding. So if your PC is, is low to mid level and maybe you're trying to save as many resources as you can to get frames in your game, I recommend keeping all the settings on every platform exactly the same. That way it's gonna take the exact same encoded image and just send it everywhere. But just know that every platform that you are sending your stream to is requiring more and more bandwidth. For example, if you're encoding in six megabits per second, like Twitch encourages, and you're sending both to Twitch and YouTube and to kick. 
right? That is three different places that you are sending six megabits per second to. That's a total of 18 megabits per second that your upload speed is gonna have to handle. So if your internet is slower, you're hitting some lag, maybe lower that bit rate a little bit. And also a little pointer with restreaming I wanna add in here, a chat, managing multiple chats can be kind of difficult. Restream does give you a plugin to go into OBS that allows you to combine all of your chat for you, but it doesn't combine the chat for the viewer. And then kind of throw off the intimacy of a live stream when someone is having a conversation with people that you can't even see or read. It no longer feels like you're in a group with them. It feels like they're talking to a totally different group. I recommend using some kind of chat combiner tool, something like Botrix. It's a free tool that not only combines the chat for you, but then you can overlay on your own stream. I'll link to a great tutorial video down below. I've, I've shown a couple shots of her video on this video. But I think combining your chats and overlaying them somewhere into your stream is a great solution here. That way, no matter what platform your viewers are watching on, they're always in the know about the chat and they feel like they're a part of the group. But now let's get into method number three, and this is where we wanna get a little bit more custom. We've already sent a single stream to a platform and had it restream for us. We've sent a single stream out to multiple platforms ourselves, but what if I wanna to stream to Twitch and Kick at the same time, and only Twitch sees the Twitch alerts and only Kick sees the Kick alerts? Well, there is a secret with the free plugin that we actually released at Adam a couple months ago. If you're not aware of the free vertical plugin for OBS, it adds a second camera to your OBS that sits right next to your main canvas. And typically, it's vertical and it can be used for a lot of different things. The main thing that it's used for is sitting there recording TikToks while you're live. It even gives you a second list of vertical scenes and vertical sources so you can completely customize this just like regular OBS. The secret though is if you open up the vertical settings and you go into resolution, you can actually type in a horizontal resolution. You can type in 1920 by 1080 and now you have double OBS sitting there inside OBS. And because it's running in one instance of OBS, it is adding a very small load to your computer's resources. So now you can set up one for Twitch and one for Kick or one for YouTube or whatever you want. Hit the settings, add in your stream key right in the vertical settings in there and hit go live on both. And now you're live in both places. But, and I know a lot of people have been typing in the comments this whole time, isn't multi-streaming against Twitch TOS? Yes. Yes it is. That's part of the reason I wanna do it. <laughs> I'm 34 and I'm still like angry at daddy Twitch. You're not my real dad, stop telling me where I can stream. So maybe you're watching this and you wanna follow the TOS and you wanna stream to both Twitch and TikTok, which is allowed. You are allowed to multi-stream on Twitch and a non-competing platform, typically, mobile vertical platforms like TikTok and, and Instagram or whatever. This can be hard because they don't give out stream keys. In fact, TikTok has been revoking stream keys because they want everyone to use their TikTok live studio. Let me just put a damper on your goals. Don't ever expect a stream key from TikTok. Plan to do this instead. TikTok live studio is not great software. If you try to build a whole stream in there like you would with OBS, it uses way more resources than it's supposed to. So instead, what you do is you set up this vertical plugin exactly how you want. You link your vertical scenes with your main scene so that way when you switch to your just chatting or your gameplay on your main canvas, it also switches on your vertical canvas. And then you click that brand new little button we recently added called virtual camera. Now OBS is sending out that vertical image as a virtual camera that you can now pick up in TikTok Studio. And for that matter, also add in the OBS multi RTMP plugin that we mentioned earlier, that was method number two, and take your horizontal canvas, send that multiple places, take your vertical one, send that wherever you want it to go. Now you're a multi-stream master. And you stream wherever you want. Look at you. But Harris, what changed? Why are you okay with multi-streaming now when you were so adamantly against it before? Usually when people talk to me about multi-streaming, it's because they're trying to get discovered. It's a small streamer trying to get in front of as many people as possible to grow. And it was this weird contradiction that was happening where everybody recognizes that there is zero discoverability being live. There are people that have been streaming for three people for five years five days a week, they just don't get discovered because live streaming doesn't really foster great discoverability as a medium. If you want to get discovered on your live stream, you have to be making TikToks, you have to be making YouTube videos, you have to be making shorts. It's the only way to do it. And so multiplying zero discoverability by two platforms or three platforms, it's still zero. Zero times anything is still gonna be zero and don't even try to divide by zero. I just did that once would not recommend. But there's something that's significantly changed over the last couple of years. Last time I talked about this was two, three years ago when Twitch was still the place where almost everybody watched their live streams. Viewership was very highly concentrated into a single area. Whereas now you have a whole team of kick people over here. You got a whole team of Twitch viewers. You got a whole team of YouTube viewers. It is much more diverse, much more spread out amongst multiple platforms. 
and frankly, even the people watching on their platform aren't super happy with their platform. So with this viewership being much more spread out, let's say you post a TikTok and it does some numbers. It gets picked up by the algorithm and a lot of people see you that want to watch your live content. Let's say you got Jimmy over here, right? Who sees your TikTok for the first time. He's like, ah, I relate to that guy. I want to watch him, but he streams on YouTube and I like to watch on kick. Well, it looks like I'm not gonna be watching this streamer. In this situation, multi-streaming is not casting a wider net to try to get discovered more and bring in new viewers. It is being live anywhere where someone who discovers you might like to watch a stream. If Billy Joe over here finds your YouTube short and likes to watch on YouTube, you're live there. If Miley Cyri over here watches TikTok and wants to catch you on kick, well, you're live there and you're monetized in both places. Multi-streaming as a final destination with how diverse the viewership has gotten recently is starting to make a lot of sense. And it's at least something worth looking into. Also, speaking of looking into, apparently Dr. Disrespect wants to make an album. I, I really got to come out with an album, huh? I just need some beats, producers, give me a call, flip phones wide open. Doc, are you just talking big or do you actually want to step into a studio? Because I got one. Let's get you in here. Let's make an album. I don't buy it but we'll see. Anyway, hit the like button if you haven't already. Comment down below what platform you stream on or if you don't stream, leave your favorite emoji because engagement helps out a lot and it's free, so thank you. And as always, happy streaming.